Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and today we are going to talk about how you can get more referrals, okay? Now, as an entrepreneur, one of the things that we totally hear about all of the time is we need to build our business through word of mouth. Right? I mean, you hear people like myself say that, author of Networking Like a Pro. You've heard other people tell you that. Build your business through word of mouth. And, and while that's all well and good, there are some challenges that comes with that, right? You're trying to do all of these different things. Maybe you've gone out and networked. Maybe you've gone out and done some other things. Uh, maybe you're talking to your friends. Maybe you're trying to talk to colleagues and strategic alliances and things like that. And at the end of the day, you can be doing a lot of different things and not really getting as many referrals as you would like. All right, And one of the main reasons that's holding these people back, and, and maybe it's yourself or not, but one of the biggest challenges in holding people back when it comes to getting more referrals is quite simply trying to be everything to everyone. And I get it. I see a lot of people fall into this trap, right? I, I used to think this myself. I need to go out and if I'm going to get more referrals, then I need to cast this wide net. I need to talk to as many people as possible. I need to hand out my cards. I need to you know, let them know that I am in business and that I am looking to get more business and I just need to, I call it drive-by networking where you're just kind of handing out business cards every place you go. And that is, as we've just talked about, the absolute wrong way to be able to do it. When you come from this everything to everyone, part of the problem is it's coming from a lack mentality. Okay? It's coming from a lack mentality. It's coming from this idea, like I just said before, that you have to be able to talk to everybody and be able to do all of this stuff. Um, as opposed to, as opposed to, you might be thinking, all right, well, Brian, if I'm not going to be everything to everyone, then how can I get more referrals? Well, a great first step is you want to be able to go out and create a sphere of influence, or you might think of these as target markets. Now, Real quick, what is spheres of influence or target markets, all right? Spheres of influence, the way I define them, are people who are most likely to use your service. All right, people who are most likely to use your service. Now, for me, what I talk about is marketing, right? I talk about word of mouth, I talk about getting more referrals, I talk about being able to, you know, do some of these things that can help you build your business. Now, for me, my target market or spheres of influence, quite simply, are busy entrepreneurs. These are people who are out trying to do stuff, you know, and trying to be successful in this regard. Um, but usually, I've noticed in the over the years, and I've been doing this for a while, you know, usually entrepreneurs are the ones who are most receptive to this, as opposed to uh, salespeople, as opposed to even just, you know, business executives, as opposed to, you know, probably other groups. Now, that doesn't mean that what my message is in terms of building your business through word of mouth and marketing and all that stuff doesn't apply to them. It's just that for me, what I have found over the years is that entrepreneurs are the ones who are most open to this. So, you know what that means? That's my target market. That's my sphere of influence. Okay? Now, sometimes people, they want to push back and they say, well, Brian, why can't I just go out there and just be everything to everyone and just you know, keep talking to folks and just cast this wide net? I'll tell you, it's, it's very, very simple. Because in order for you to get referrals, you have to have a group of people who understand what you do. By definition, if I'm going to get a referral from you, you need to understand what I do. And in order to understand what I do, part of it is understanding who I do it with. Okay, so what I tell people is if you're trying to get more referrals and you found that you've been doing a lot of things and you haven't been getting as much business in terms of word of mouth and referral based business as you like, first thing you want to do obviously is stop being everything to everyone. The next thing you want to do is get real clear on who it is your target and smart spheres of influence are. It doesn't have to be an industry, but it does need to be a profile. Take a look at your last three or four clients. You know, were they business owners or were they consumers? Were they men or were they women? Were they uh, um, you know, home buyers, or maybe where they were something else, right? I mean, you know, I'm just going through the profile. How many years in business have they been around? Okay. If someone were to ask me, you know, and this gets to point number two in terms of being everything to everyone and trying to get around that. If someone were to ask me, well, boy, Brian, what's a good referral 
for you, right? And people ask you that all the time, especially if you're in these leads groups or referral groups or something like that. What's a good referral? I would say, well, as you know, I help busy entrepreneurs market their business in less than 90 days. A good referral for me is an entrepreneur anywhere from two to 10 years who is out there trying to market themselves. Maybe they haven't gotten as much business as they would like. They have maybe a website, but it's maybe not getting as much uh, traffic as they think they should. They go out and they network. They're doing some of the things that you've heard, right? They're doing some of the things that you've heard, but they just haven't, for whatever reason, been able to get all of that together into a brand that makes sense and turns all of that activity into bottom line business. Usually I'll work with coaches and consultants, um, speakers, service professionals, people who have some idea as to what it is that they want to do and want to move themselves forward. That would be a good referral for me. Now, do you see how I was real casual? I started off by talking about busy entrepreneurs. I talked about two to 10 years. I gave you some ideas in terms of industry, but I gave you some broad ones too, right? So what that tells you right off the bat is, if you're looking to give me a referral, probably the person over at the restaurant, like a Wendy, not Wendy's, but you know, like a, um, a restaurant, okay? Whatever the case may be, that probably wouldn't be a good referral. But somebody like maybe an entrepreneur, a service professional, people who are out in the field doing all these different things that would be okay and our job as the service professional is to educate our referral partners if our referral partners haven't been getting us as many referrals as we want then that's our fault for not educating them part of it is because we told them everything and didn't give them something real clear to be able to latch on to and then ultimately move forward towards you. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's something that you can see yourself using and hopefully that's something that will help you get more referrals right away. Okay. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care and thank you for your time.